Hey guys, and welcome to Fallout Shelter. Uh, we played this maybe like a year or two, whenever Fallout 2 got announced, um, like right before E3 at Bethesda's conference, you know, they said, Fallout Shelter, blah, 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 it's on your phones now. And then, uh, phones, tablets, and then later it came to like PC, I think it's on Steam now or something. Um, but now, E3 2018, uh, like yesterday or whatever, Bethesda was like, hey, Fallout Shelter's coming to consoles. So you can play a time management phone game on your console because, I don't know, it makes sense, right? So now I'm going through all the different numbers and I think um, we're going to go with OU812 because that's just kind of funny. So 812. Um, it's a bunch of numbers. You can pick whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, it really doesn't. Honestly, it's just like naming your save. So uh, we're the overseer of Vault. 812. You 812? Are you feeling sick? No? Okay, good. But I 812. Um, so yeah, since I've played it, which was around like maybe like the first month or two of it released, they added some new things. Um, like pets. Now you can have like dogs and stuff, which makes sense because it's a Fallout game. And then uh, they added uh, quests, and so now you can actually go on quests and actually leave the vault. Instead of just sending guys in the wasteland and then they'll come back in like a few minutes. Now you can actually take like, I guess up to three um, vault dwellers. And you can go on a quest and actually like go to a different location and go through buildings and kill creatures and stuff. And actually click on them and fight them. But of course, playing on the, co the console, the controls are pretty weird. Um, moving the left stick and the right stick and just, you just don't have that precision control of... I guess your finger on your phone or tablet, which is where I played this game, or uh, or I can even imagine on the PC being so much better. You can just click and drag and click on the individual things, and probably mouse wheel to zoom in and out, which makes a lot of sense. It's so probably if you're not really interested in achievement points on the, the Xbox or the platinum trophy on the PS4, I would say just get this on the PC. You'd probably have a much better time. So, um, let's see. I feel like we want to build power at the bottom. We'll keep our top as living quarters, then we'll do like the middle, like our med bay and our, our like diner, and we'll keep like this third floor as our power generator and our water treatment. And then we're going to build elevators on the other side, and then we'll make like a workout station so you can build up your strength. I forget, it's probably something to build up your charisma and stuff too, but there's a lot to do. And we're still early on, so this is like the tutorial, so it's walking us by the hand. This guy's strength, which is good. Which would be nice, you know, instead of like these little meters, if it just had like strength 2, strength 3, just so it'd make it a little easier. Press X to put it there. So welcome to the vault. She's got... Perception, so she'd be good with the water treatment, but for now, let's put her in here. We gotta remember to uh, move her after. But yeah, see, this is like a time management game slash base building game. And you know, like I said, they added quests, and so now there's actually some active combat that you can do, and actual like stuff you can actually play a game with. But for this being on the console, it doesn't really make sense. A lot of there's a lot of free-to-play phone games on the PS4 right now, and they all really just they're either clickers, which you're just mashing X, which why? Why would you be playing this on the console? Like these are games meant to be played on your phone while you're on like the train or the bus or on the toilet, I guess. Or, you're, or watching The Walking Dead and you're on a commercial or something, or just watching The Walking Dead and you want to play it. <clears throat> Alright, so diners are food. Agility. But in the quest system, <clears throat> agility actually is good. You would think, like, strength would be good in combat, but agility is actually pretty good because that means you're faster to react in combat, so you have a faster... Initi initi what is it called? It's not initiation. Initiative. So with higher agility, you have a higher initiative. So you, uh, you attack faster. 
Now I kind of want to play some Dungeons and Dragons. We haven't played. Speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, we haven't played um, Legends of the Sword Coast in a long time. And that did all right. People watched that. It was fun. We kind of got back into Diablo three. That was fun too. Played with the Necromancer stuff. Um, yeah. So this is weird. Trying to like make your stuff because a lot of these things can be upgraded. Um, like three bricks, and maybe even more. I can't remember. I think three might be the maximum. Um, so we want to make sure we have enough room to expand. And we also kind of want to make it somewhat realistic. So, like you want to keep all our power stuff at the bottom. And whatever. Again, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna skip ahead here. So we got some junk. Just doing quests and cards and things like that. Which I feel like junk might be new. I don't really remember getting junk, but then again, I could have just forgot. So the basic stuff, we need a steady supply of power, food, and water. If not, everyone gets sad and blah, blah, blah. Um, so there is a green bar, green line. So as long as we're above the green line, we have enough resources for everybody. And this is another thing, too. we got to make sure we upgrade this, too, because if we upgrade our... Build, our uh, stuff we get um more storage capacity which means you can hold more even though they use whatever so let's uh make another water treatment we'll expand that oops there you go and then the rocks we can demolish but like that gray rock to the left and the right is something we can't destroy so we can destroy the rocks for like 150 caps and whatever and we can go down like pretty far too you know, level up. Now, see, this is the weird part, which kind of sucks, which uh, happens a few times after we get raided by raiders. Um, you want to move, like, the D-pad. Like, I just want to move the D-pad in this game. I don't want to move the left stick. And you would accidentally heal someone with a... Uh, what do you call them? Med it's not med sticks. What is it called? Stim packs, I think, to heal yourself. Heal them, and you accidentally heal someone who has like a sliver of health missing instead of the person you want. But uh, all the stuff you had on the phone is here, you know. And other than navigating your levels, it's the control. It's the controller works fine. You, know, you got all your buttons here. It's nothing more complicated than playing an MMO on the console with the control. So we got uh, some people over here in the living quarters trying to make some babies because that's something early on you really need to do is just get get some people in your vault. This vault's useless if you don't have people. So trying to make uh, a couple babies here. And then we have babies, we can make some more babies. Because we want to keep uh, our water plant, our diner, and our water treatment facility full as much as possible with as much people as we can. Um, that way it only takes like two minutes instead of ten minutes to produce water, you know what I mean? The more people you have, the less time it takes. And of course you get outfits, so this is plus two in perception, so we give the girl with the most perception because we'll probably keep her here. Um, you know, it doesn't really make sense of giving someone who has low perception the perception thing because then if she's got something else, we might move her around and blah, blah, blah. So we'll keep that there for now. It doesn't really matter as long as the perception's up. So they're flirting there, having a fun time. We'll see who uh, ends up with who. Why don't we give some people some guns? Um, we've got some guns from some some stuff early on that I've probably skipped because this game is basically just looking at a screen for an hour, waiting for things to uh, do. It really, I don't know why I'm playing this game. I know why because it's a platinum trophy on the PlayStation, so it's it's got it got my interest. And it is oddly a satisfying game. All right, so looks like these two uh, found found love, or they just realized like they're the only two people out of the four that they uh, can make love with. So they're all happy. Um, the one good thing, too, is something you can kind of not cheese, but you know, if someone's like really low uh, happiness, you can just get them pregnant, and then they get full 100% happiness. So that's a nice thing to uh, get people up, but of course, <laughs> get people up. no pun intended, but, um, you know, make people happy. Hey, we got a lunchbox. 
I guess some rewards. So lunch boxes give you like, I don't know what, like five cards or whatever, and there could be things from junk, from weapons, to outfits, to special vault dwellers who have like nice stats. Thunder power, alright, so sell one weapon or outfit, I feel like it's kind of terrible early on because you just don't have enough weapons or outfits and you kind of need everything you got to survive. Let's expand our diner. Nothing's finer than being in our diner. And we gotta get rid of the storage place too eventually. Alright, so let's open this lunch box. We got some power, some junk, and Craig Brown. Got some good agility and luck. It's good. And again, this being a free to play game, you can spend a ton of money buying lunch boxes and resources and whatever the hell. Please don't do that. It's such a waste of but then again, I guess it's, it's, it comes down to, is this worth my time versus is it worth my money? So we're just going to fast forward through all this because it's really just looking at a screen waiting for, for time to run out. As we're building and upgrading. At least right now, early on, because you got to build your base, you got to build supplies, you got to get all this stuff. And then later, once we get... Uh, Overseer stuff where we can do quests, then we can actually like do stuff and actually move people around. And it's not as advanced as XCOM, but it's you know it's it's on that level of you move, you fight, and then you move and you fight. Being attacked by raiders, um, it would be nice if we could like just assign people and click on the raider, and then they follow the raider and attack them from room to room. But otherwise, you have to click and drag them. But um, the one good thing about Raider is when you move everyone around to fight, once the Raider attack is over, everyone goes back to their original positions, which is nice. I don't know why we're still... Oh, there's still a Raider, that's why. It was over, that's why I stopped fast-forwarding, but I guess not. Still one more, so we get to see the fighting. This is not active combat like in the quest, where you can actually click and release and get criticals and stuff. It's all mechanical, we'll see that in the next video. But yeah, so if you don't do anything, if you don't have any weapons and raiders come, they just kill everybody, steal all your resources. Um, and I, I can't remember, I think it's once you get the radio station, I think, that's when you'll start getting like death claw attacks. So it's kind of like this risk reward. You got If you broadcast your location, you know, you'll get more vault dwellers, more people coming to your vault. But for whatever reason, death claws hear the radio signal or something and they come and attack you and they're pretty tough um, so I, I'm kind of holding off on the radio tower until uh, we get a lot more weapons so uh, we had some babies they uh, they hatched they didn't hatch they came out of the womb or whatever so we got um, baby Megan now and now we have a new baby and what I done in the past is the first boy uh, I named after myself, I guess. But it's always that thing of like, what if they grew up to be terrible? But, hey, it's the risk, right? But, um, oh yeah, I guess they added, I think this was new, unless I, ju I just never made it to it, but, um, they added a barber shop, and I think the barber shop will maybe let you customize your character. So, hopefully that's something to look forward to. Because in games like this, you know, I, I kind of like, I kind of like the randomness and the random names around the people, but I do kind of like customizing people and stuff and making them, making it my own vault. Just kind of like, again, bringing up XCOM, you know, customize your squad, name them after people and, you know, customize all the looks and stuff. So, uh, we, we sent Craig Brown on like the wasteland thing, so you can just send people into the wasteland to find supplies and stuff. So, you know, it gives them, gives you a nice little thing of, uh, you know, what happened. You know, killing the dog, finding blah blah blah, finding fugitives and blow flies and stuff like that. Um, but again, this isn't a quest, this is exploring the wasteland. The quest is active and we'll do that in the next video. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of this, um, I'll probably stream it tomorrow anyway. Um, so click that top left playlist, that'll be our Fallout Shelter playlist. And I'll probably put the Fallout 4 playlist in here somewhere and some other playlists on the screen. So click on those. 
hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.